Is hope the grandeur of trust desirable? Then human existence must constantly be confronted with insecurities and recurrent uncertainties. When the storm rages, I find myself asking, why does our faith fail and our prayers seem to go unanswered? You must trust in your faith and pray earnestly. But also remember, prayer is not a technique of escape from conflict, but rather a stimulus to growth in the very face of conflict. Can sincere prayers eliminate the storms in life? Try to envision the real purpose of prayer and pray only for values, not things, for growth, not for gratification. Why do the innocent suffer? Being a good person does not protect us from difficulties. However, consider this. The greatest affliction of the cosmos is never to have been afflicted. Mortals only learn wisdom by experiencing tribulation. Much of what a mortal would call good luck might really be bad luck. And the smile of fortune that bestows unearned leisure and undeserved wealth may be the greatest of human afflictions. How can we overcome our failures and difficulties and succeed? Don't be discouraged by your failures. Remember, what you are today is not so important as what you are becoming day by day and in eternity. The evolving soul is not made divine by what it does, but by what it strives to do. What can we do? You will always have opportunities to do good and be of service. And recognize that one must do something as well as be something. Live loyally today, grow, and tomorrow will attend to itself. The quickest way for a tadpole to become a frog is to live loyally each moment as a tadpole. And fail not to remember that the will of God can be done in any earthly occupation. What if we fall short? Keep perspective and do not be troubled. Failure is simply an educational episode, a cultural experiment in the acquirement of wisdom. And defeat is the true mirror in which you may honestly view your real self. What if it feels like all hope is lost? Hope is never truly lost. Have faith, confidence in the eventual triumph of divine justice and eternal goodness. You may be surrounded with small enemies and be retarded by many obstacles, but the big things and the real things of this world and the universe are on your side. In liaison with God, nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible.